slicing cut to remove the material that uh, basically makes a space in between the teeth. And now we loosen off the locking mechanism for the um, spindle that the blanket's mounted on, as well as the dog that uh, indexes the 64 tooth gear I'm using since I'm cutting a 64 tooth gear. The uh, spindle gets rotated one tooth and everything's locked in place again and then we do another pass. Very boring work but gets the job done. Basically, this is the milling attachment here, and this is my homemade version of a uh, gear cutter type of thing to jig basically to hold the gear blank and the indexing gear while uh, the uh, cutter, which is underneath, does the work of cutting the material out from in between the teeth. And basically, the carriage is moved, cross speed is moved back and forth, the carriage is stationary, sorry. And it, since the 16 blade doesn't have a power of heat, it's done manually a little bit at a time. So basically, things get shut off. And then what I have is two screws, quarter by 20 screws, that lock the shaft by squeezing it. And once they're loose enough, then the indexing dog can be loosened off, slid up. Things get rotated one tooth. Things are just a little bit snug yet. Basically, that gets held down and then tightened up. Two screws get tightened up. Everything basically is locked in place again. And we do another pass. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.
basically this is the cutter here, the blank, and once you make a pass, you unlock the uh, spindle screw that holds the blank, and then you basically move the gear that you're using to index one tooth, make sure everything's Lock back up again, tighten the screw that holds the spindle, and you get to make another pass. And there goes my brush. Good job I got more than one for putting the oil on. slide so it would end up about here but it was extended out to here when I was doing starting the cut which created a, lot, a little bit of vibration so what I did is I repositioned my gear cutter by adding some metal doesn't look real pretty but it's working fine and as a result it moves the gear blank in quite a bit closer to the uh, uh, vice for the milling attachment which solids things up a bit so this is the gear that I index with it's a 44 tooth gear so it's a one to one index and this is the blank that I'm cutting not done yet but getting there about halfway and basically I'll start it back up because I don't like to bring the cross slide back out without the uh, Blade running. So before I was using these two screws here to unlock the spindle, but uh, I've added some shim stock so that I can now rotate the spindle and this is the screw here that I'm using to unlock the spindle and then basically I undo this screw slide my indexing dog up enough and if I had two hands it would work better Basically, I can move that one tooth and then I'll uh, relock it and make another pass. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Have a great day.